Hi everybody! It is the end of week 15. I have a helper here and just wanted to remind you that you have a discussion board due tonight by 11.59 p.m. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, papers are in the process of being graded and I am almost done. I will have paper grades up. Oh, can't even think of days. It's the end of the semester. By Monday. That's what I was going to say. Today's Friday. I'll have paper grades up by Monday. Uh, so you'll know where you stand. All major grades will be in well before you take the exam, which will be due by December 14th. It opens up on December 10th. And that's week 17 on our Blackboard shell. And that's all we have going on on week 17 is the exam. Week 16 next week is the last full week of new information. And we will be discussing the aftermath of the Civil War, a.k.a. Reconstruction, and talking about different visions of freedom for former slaves during Reconstruction. So I look forward to seeing what you have to say about that. I look forward to seeing what you have to say about the Civil War this week. And I am really enjoying the papers so far. There are a couple of things that I was surprised by. For example, very few of you connected... Uh, the war in the Pacific during World War II, the foreign policy toward the Pacific abroad with Japanese American internment at home, kind of a really big thing with those two connecting, um, and the Red Scare at home with containment abroad and uh, domino theory and Truman Doctrine, all that foreign policy with the domestic policy of like HUAC and other Red Scare things. Um, especially since we read McCarthy, but some of you made some really excellent connections, um, things that I wasn't even thinking of as the main connections. You guys did a really good job, and that's the thing. If you pick something that I didn't really think is like a go-to big connection between foreign and domestic policy, but you make that connection and you argue it well with the sources, then that's perfect. That's great. So it doesn't necessarily have to be something that I had in mind. But it needs to answer the prompt, make those connections, and be supported by evidence, right? Many of you used outside sources, which always disappointing because I tell you not to do that. It's not a research paper. Course materials are provided. So a lot of you used no primary documents, but would use like the History Channel's website, which very frustrating for me. But um, your grades reflect that. If you didn't use the appropriate sources, then the grades reflect that. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, paper feedback is both on the papers. So if you click on a highlighted statement, it'll have um, the comment on there. And then you also have that feedback to learner section that's got feedback in there. So you have both like global feedback over all the whole paper, and then you've got specific sentence feedback for certain parts. So be sure to read all of that feedback after you get your grade before contacting me about your paper. I'm happy to talk with you. I just want you to read that feedback first so that we're on the same page if we talk about it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you've really enjoyed the semester so far. I've enjoyed having you all. We've had some really great discussions, which has been wonderful. And um, paper grades will be up Monday. And I look forward to reading about what you have to say about Black Americans in the Civil War. All right, have a great day.